Welcome to Libra to your love reading for November 17th and 18th of 2018. So let's look into your uh, energy here. So the person, um, well, the mutual energy between your partner or love interest or a Libra in love. November 17th and 18th. So there are there is some um, kind of um, maybe joy um, collaborating on something working together as a team. Now some of you might have something creative that you might be working on. It could be a child that you might be working on, trying to bring it to the world, or some of you could be pregnant. But this is an energy of um kind of having fun, being optimistic. Even if you're not optimistic, it's almost like you're forced to do other things and kind of allow your partner to do them as well. All right. Now and, um, there could be children around you too. Um, person come towards you. What might your partner or love interest to bring it towards you deeper? Yeah, that person, see, it's like you, um, they want to be alone. You could be leaving them alone, or they might be leaving you alone. They want some space or them uh, focusing on themselves right now. It's kind of reflecting on some things, okay? So uh, you might be annoyed by that, but space might be required. Person, your response for a Libra. So it's like you want to, um, uh, Nine of Pentacles is in reverse, and I feel like that's the energy of, um, you're working on things, you might be, especially if you're at work, you're doing certain things, and you might be motivated in the beginning, and as the week kind of unfolds, you get a bit depressed because your partner isn't around, you're not able to focus on work, you want to be around them, so I feel like it's a, a energy of being frustrated. Some of you might need to still work through a process of removing yourself from a marriage or current relationship that's not working uh, and then into through time into a newer relationship so i feel until then someone is separating themselves from you or needing space right now so um keep that in mind all right now what is your advice or obstacles for the weekend for labor Obstacles with goals or plans. Um, let's see, clarify three wands in reverse. And the fool is uh, often letting go. Energetically, there might be some issues there. Starting over, starting anew might be part of what needs to happen uh, for some of you. And you're not really, some of you could be excited, but this feel like this is um, part of you not being attached or holding on to something that needs to unravel and um, happen when it needs to, right? The outcome for Libra, November 17th and 18th. So the Four of Cups is in reverse and often there could be from your partner because they don't really want to be around. They might be taking some time and that does um, indicate a missed opportunity with that person. Some of you might be doing other things or disconnecting from someone and still in a connection that needs to be severed. So that could cause a missed opportunity with somebody. Um, just be uh, careful with that. Careful for the four of cups and rivers. Yeah, and the five of cups is here. So there is an issue. Um, it seems like connecting with someone because of those scenarios, I feel. Um, either holding back or not being interactive or playful with your partner or with other people with other friends and then that causes um some kind of friction or um frustration between you and that person to see messages for libra for november 17th and 18th 2018 and love getting to know each other as you reveal your animal self to each other your bond does deepen so that is um part of the page of wands is Kind of figuring out how that person might interact with other people, how they might treat you, um, how you might uh, mesh well together or not, and part of how you might even respond if you feel like you do have a missed opportunity. The missed opportunities don't mean like it's going to be forever gone. No, um, it just means that maybe throughout the weekend, some of you, if whoever might be holding back um, and they don't go out or they don't reach out and someone is kind of wanting to be alone. Um, that is part of an opportunity being there with someone not taking up on. So that's how you get to know somebody through how they might respond if you two don't get a chance to see one another. Um, let's see. That's usually for the people. November 17th, 18th, 18th. And then we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So for those um, 
who you feel this is for your own personal experience if you know someone is your soulmate if you feel like that is to keep the case um a lot of times with soulmates it does take a uh, big life changes and um you might be in predicaments that are a bit odd or extreme and you need to make sacrifices in order for things to change um sacrifices in the sense that someone needs to you need to really move on from someone else and vice versa um and there needs to be a lot of uh, collaboration and uh, mutual understanding and the connection being beneficial for both um and realizing that so um that's going to be your reading for the week and i hope the messages did help out tons of love lots of light to you tons of feeling vibes i wish you the best and you can always go to the website psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you have a good one